way too soon to, to say that, but uh, anyway, um, we had a good balanced effort against Holy Cross last week in uh, a very healthy rainstorm. Our, our kids seem to uh, thrive on inclement weather, and, and that's we'll, we'll take any time you have kids that can do that. But I think uh, it was a case of you know we played very well in all three phases, and we were playing a very banged up Holy Cross team. They're down to the third string quarterback, our offensive lines banged up. It was not your typical Holy Cross team. A combination of that and uh, really being in, in sync in all three phases made it for a, a tough first half of Holy Cross. Uh, the big play in the half was a block punt by Connor Sheen, a sophomore linebacker from Austin, Texas. DJ Monroe, a junior defensive back, scooped up and in for the touchdown. That was you know, just kind of opened the floodgates. But uh, offensively, uh, just one of those nights where everything seemed to go right. Uh, we, I think we were six to six on drives. For, uh, six touchdowns, 394 yards in the first half, nine for nine on first downs. It's just one of those days you, you wish you could blow, you know, pull up any time you needed it. Uh, the catalyst of that has been our quarterback, Colton Chapel. Uh, we've had a lot of good quarterbacks at Harvard. Uh, you know, guys like Collier Winters, Chris Bizzotti, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, uh, Neil Rose, just to name a few. And in his very quiet kind of under the radar way, you know, Colton is operating just as efficiently as those guys. And, uh, he's one play away from being, I think, 9-0 and as a starter. Uh, nobody on our team works harder to prepare for an opponent. Uh, he's, he's very poised. He's extremely humble. He's, extremely, he's a very tough kid. He can make plays with his legs, which really helps us in, in our scheme. And uh, everybody in our program really just admires the heck out of him. He had a heck of a first half. He didn't play a snap after the first half, but he was 13 for 18 for 260 yards, four touchdowns, and one touchdown in the first half. So not a bad day at the track. As coaches, we really appreciate him for the, uh, the uh, aforementioned attributes. He's just one of those guys that you want playing quarterback for your team. Colton is a senior, uh, has been a pre-med, and I'm not sure he's banking on that yet, has been a pre-med concentrator from Alfred, Georgia. Colton Chapman. <laughs> First of all, I'd just like to thank the Gridiron Club of Greater Boston, and I'd like to congratulate Vaughn, the other Colt Helmet winner, uh, on the awesome game that you had last week. Uh, just start off with a couple thank yous. You know, the Bible says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. And, you know, without that, there would be no reason why I was here or be given this incredible opportunity to play football at, you know, this institution. Um, I'd also like to thank my parents. Um, it's amazing to say that they've been to every single game that I've played here. Um, and just their sacrifices is just, you know, not, I, I, don't, I don't thank them enough, so I just like to thank them today. But, you know, this award signifies, you know, 11 other guys on the offense. Um, you know, I might get the credit just because I'm the quarterback, but without, you know, everybody doing their job at the same time, at the same level that we've been coached to do um, throughout the entire week, none of this would be possible. So I'd just like to thank you know, my offensive teammates as well as the, uh, the coaches for just putting together an awesome game plan. Um, and I uh, look forward to playing this Saturday a big game uh, here at Harvard State. Thank you. Jack alluded to, we've got a big game this week against Cornell. Um, Cornell's a tremendous football team. Um, they're probably the most improved defensive team in our league. Uh, last year, they scored a lot of points at times, gave up quite a few. Uh, but the last two times out, they, they, they beat Yale 42-6, to six, and then they uh, beat Bucknell. In each of those games, their defense only allowed one touchdown. So all of a sudden, along with their high-powered offense, really efficient special teams, they've got an outstanding defense. Uh, the guy that uh, really makes it go for them is Jeff Matthews. And, and Jeff, we've talked about our quarterback. Uh, Jeff Matthews is a special player. Uh, I've gone on record as saying, if he continues on the arc that he's on, he's going to be a very high very high draft choice by the NFL. He was Ivy League Player of the Year as a sophomore, 6'4", 225 pounds. Um, had back-to-back 500-yard -back throwing games against, I believe, Penn and Columbia last year and in the last two games. He can make all the throws. He anticipates. He's, he's a special player. And, uh, he's one of the guys that we're going to have to, to uh, if not stop, we're going to have to keep in check this week because he can make life very, very difficult for you. But the bottom line is we've got to play well in all phases. We've got to play well offensively. We've got to 
maintain and gain field position with special teams. Uh, we've got to take care of the football and not give them any short fields. And our defense has got to find a way to get off the field. Uh, should be a great matchup. Uh, we probably won't play a better or tougher all-around team this year. Uh, so we've got a big game <coughs> in the stadium this week. Congratulations to Vaughn McGee, and good luck to everybody this week.